breathing circuit assembly. During this video, we will demonstrate how to properly assemble the patient breathing circuit and connect it to the gradient CCV. It is important to always make sure you're using a sterilized or disinfected breathing circuit for each patient. Not doing so could result in the unintentional spread of infection among patients and healthcare providers. Let's start by assembling the patient circuit exhalation valve. First, insert the green valve disc into the exhalation valve body. The side label side up should be visible. Then, place the clear valve cover on the valve body. Align the arrow on the cover with the notch on the valve body so that the cover lies flat. The arrow on the cover points directly towards the patient end of the valve. Then, screw the valve nut to keep the cover in place. Once complete, do a quick check to make sure the valve nut is tight and sitting evenly against the valve body. Next, connect the clear exhalation control line to the port on the valve cover. Connect the green patient airway pressure line to the barb on the bottom of the valve body and ensure that the sampling port plug on the underside of the valve body is fully inserted. Next, we connect the breathing tube to the valve body. Confirm that the assembly is correct by observing the exhalation valve control line which should run straight back along the breathing tube. The final step is to affix a new bacterial filter or heat moisture exchange filter to the patient end of the exhalation valve to prevent cross-contamination. A catheter mount can be added if needed. Now, we are ready to connect the breathing circuit to the CCV. First, connect the larger green patient pressure sensor line to the blue bulb labeled patient airway. Then, connect the smaller clear exhalation valve control line to the silver bulb labeled exhalation valve. The tubes are different sizes, so make sure that each one fits snugly on its barb. Connect the breathing tube to the port labeled patient circuit. Now that the breathing circuit has been assembled and connected to the CCV, it's best practice to test it before connecting to a patient. To do this, attach the patient circuit to a dummy lung and set the CCV to the initial settings for the incoming patient. Allow the ventilator to run and stabilize. Then, look inside valve cover to observe the valve disc lifting during exhalation. Lastly, allow the CCV to run for at least 20 seconds to make sure it does not trigger a low airway pressure alarm or excessive patient circuit leak alarm. If an alarm is triggered, this means there's a leakage in the circuit, so you will need to re-examine the line to look for potential causes for the leaks. If there are no alarms, then you are okay to proceed. By assembling the circuit correctly as we've shown in this video and then testing it before connecting to a patient, you can avoid any leaks and ensure the safety of the patient.